the 75th anniversary endowed faculty chair presentation series is made possible by the generous benefactors who have underwritten these awards. Joseph and Sophia Abeles established WCC's endowed faculty chair program in 1990. Since then, they and other donors have endowed 39 chairs at the college. This unique alliance provides annual funds for faculty development, enabling chairholders and their departments to stay at the leading edge of their fields. As the year progresses, the endowed chairs will continue to offer unique and informative programs as part of the college's year-long celebration. Please visit the 75th anniversary website for information on upcoming events at www.sunywcc forward slash 75 years. Hi everyone, welcome. My name is Professor Deb Cricken, and in a few moments we're going to be speaking about how the social media trends has greatly impact the business marketplace, and it also has impact your lives, and that's what we're going to talk about. So let's share my screen as we are all familiar with this process. So I am uh, currently uh, the curriculum chair of the Interactive Technologies at Westchester Community College. And I'm very fortunate uh, due to the 75 anniversary endowed chaired presentation series to be speaking with you. I'm gonna be speaking to you about how social media, marketing skills and trends has revitalized business strategies. So first of all, I just wanna thank Professor Vern, the endowed chair, and this is her advertising class, which is Marketing 203 Advertising. This course studies the role of advertising as a component of consumer marketing. Students will create media and public relation plans, advertising campaigns, and learn about the role of advertising agencies and most important, client relationships. Students are required to track creative work and submit a media plan and portfolio of creative ideas and media selection and advertising communication. And that is why I was very excited to speak to this class because this presentation speaks directly to those students and also to you as you are listening because social media has impacted everybody's life. So let's begin. Social media impacts all sectors of culture and society. And I think we can understand how invaluable the internet has supported our daily lives in recent months due to COVID with services such as food, entertainment, employment, just about everything you can think of. Wherever you are, you have been greatly at an advantage point because of the internet. And these positive changes also have, unfortunately, societal ills. So let's talk about how social media impacts uh, all of our culture and society. And I can understand right now that all of you can, I can say that you have been experienced with the opportunities that the internet has brought to your family, to your workplace, to your personal lives. And that is why it's so important today to be talking about it. So this visualization that I have before us details the rates of diffusion and adoption of a range of technologies in the United States, measured as a percentage of US households. Now, one of the things I love is radio. And as you can see from here, radio has grown to the very top and has stayed consistent since 1970 and to our day today. Uh, where you can see television and computers and internet are just skyrocketing uh, as it had as well as for television. So this is what's important to understand that the world is using their mobile phones. They may not all have computers, but they have their mobile phones. And the social media platforms is one way of communication. It's also one way of entertainment, and it's also one way of news. And that has the pros and cons as we all know. So you've been listening to this uh, platform, such as Facebook, YouTube, TikTok, Snapchat, and so forth. And of course, the US government is looking into it to the alleged negligence of these social media uh, platforms, but also how it has impacted our society in negative and positive ways. 
And so as you can see, uh, I remember when Facebook was only for young adults. Now all generations are using Facebook and YouTube pretty much is in every workforce, in every um, opportunity that can help to spread information for education and music and so forth. And then these other ones that are coming on and rising, such as TikTok, such as um, Instagram and so forth, they are rising as you can see. And so why is it so important to marketing? Because it is, is it an audience. And these numbers are huge. There are 7.7 .7 billion people in the world with at least 3.5 billion of us online. This means social media platforms are used by one in three people in the world. That's quite a focused audience. And that is why we're talking about it today. And so how do we engage readers and viewers? I should say viewers, right? Instead of readers. How do we engage them into our society into a way that's going to be positive, constructive, and bring them the best? And hopefully the, the negatives will, will fade and diminish and won't have so much of an impact. So what will it bring us next? So as you can see from these social media platforms, uh, these are the age groups uh, as far as uh, who is using the platforms. And as you can see now, uh, the social media is growing in, in our age group, which this is where I am, 50 and uh, older. And it's important to know that the economic uh, forum estimates that by 2022, 50% of all employees will require significant reskilling and upskilling. That's where Westchester Community College needs to be. We need to be for our young adults as well as for the professionals who are retooling because that is our future. And I have to say it's exciting. I, am a, uh, I started out as a visual artist, fine artist, moving into uh, digital design. And it's important to understand that I feel that we have to merge together to transform society, transform advertising, transform the way we think and, and build things. And this is what's exciting that we are merging together, uh, as I like to say, the Renaissance. So marketing campaign is so important for our students today. And as you can see, it's all digital advertising, web design development, and mobile marketing, social marketing, and of course, content management. And yes, all of our young students they can be influencers, and that's exciting. So what's important to help us to understand is that when we are speaking like I am speaking to you now, um, we simply have to improve our customer journey. So when our students come to college, that is their customer journey in real life, hands-on. But also they peruse our website, and they peruse our course curriculum, and they peruse our course schedules, and they peruse our communication. Who can they access? And so this is what's important in regards to marketing. How does your customer see your product and your services and say how engaging is your uh, platform delivering your advertising? So simply improving by the McKinsey and company, simply improving customer journeys has a potential to increase customer satisfaction by 20%, but it also lifts revenue up to 15% 15 while lowering the costs of serving customers by as much as 20%. And I can say that from a digital designer, we can repurpose our designs over and over again in many different formats that will create engaging um, media advertisement. But where do we begin in our customer service? Where it used to come from the very top, it used to come from the advertising agencies or the creative directors, or the client themselves, but that has all changed. What we have right now is what we call design thinking. And design thinking has always been with engineers because they, when they build products, but today design thinking is for everyone. And this is what I'm going to be talking about because this is exciting for our students to be engaged in something that's a collaborative teamwork, that has a diversity, that has the opportunity to, to observe and critically analyze how do our customers think, how do they move, how do they engage, how are their lives being uh, driven uh, by whatever personal or professional or workplace or educational experience. 
This is what we're talking about in design thinking. So there are particular uh, phases that design in thinking introduces, and it is their opportunity to um, have empirical data analysis, and this helps them to match the data with their personal observations. And this is why I find it so exciting for our students today to really embrace design thinking and digital marketing. So how do we really understand how people live their lives? And this is one, uh, there's a number of videos out there, and I am a big advocate of open, edu open educational resources, OER. And I found this video from a university that presented how to help people to understand design thinking. So the first phase is phase one, where we have research interviews, we do surveys, we document, we write journals, and this is kind of an exciting opportunity because as all creative uh, students, as I believe they are creative, such as in this advertising agency, advertising class, is that they begin to learn the qualitative and quantitative of data collection. And they begin to observe and peruse uh, social media and Google Analytics to really understand how people engage. After empathize, we go into uh, understanding uh, the whole context of data analysis and monitoring. And that's where the phase one of design thinking really begins to collect with the journeys, with their sketches as well, with their visual observation and with their analysis of empirical data. So the one thing that we utilize is the opportunity to have uh, programs that they need to learn. So all of these programs such as offered in advertising and in, in courses and programs such as uh, business technology, you really get your head around these programs which are critical. And then we have new programs that are coming up for communication uh, skills, which is called Slack. So these are things that help us within the design thinking collection of communication amongst ourselves, uh, giving our ideas and organizing our critical thinking and then making a presentation so that people can understand what you have experienced in your research. The next phase of design thinking is what we call define. We collect all this stuff, as they say, we unpacked everything that we have just collected. We sit down at the table. And what I love about this uh, design thinking uh, phase, which is part of um, marketing, and pretty much just about everything between uh, services, between uh, creating and designing prototypes, is that it's a team of many different disciplines from many different professions, psychologists, sociologists, computer programmers, engineers, visual di digital designers, marketing, advertising um, professionals, all of them are sitting at a table and assessing what this data has been that they have collected and they define the problem so that they can find the solution to have a successful customer journey. And there I go through strategies and trends and all of the uh, determining words that will give them the opportunity to define what they need to be building. That is phase two of design thinking, defined. In three, this is where I usually jump in uh, because I'm a visual designer and this is where we begin to create uh, maps and flowcharts and storyboards, and we begin to bring in user interface. So all of design thinking in the very beginning of empathize, to find, to ideate, is what we call user experience, UX, which we'll talk about uh, in the next coming slides. So this is where we begin to brainstorm, and we really think out of the box. And what I loved about this process that I had learned when I had taken a class with MIT was that every idea is exceptional and every idea needs to be discussed. Because when people think out of the box, sometimes they have judgment and sometimes they think, ah, oh, I don't think that's such a good idea. But in actuality, it could be a brilliant idea. So that is why it's important that there's no judgment, um, which is where the diversity where everybody comes in and their ideas are valued. And that is where we call the true collaboration that really thinks out of the box. 
And so everyone contributes uh, with their expansive thinking or their experimenting, but always the foundation is empathy. And that is something we hold dear all the way through the process. Then we start taking those ideas and making it become a tangible product, which could be an advertising campaign, could, which could be posters, which could be for print, could be interactive design, it could be animation, it could be actually the application, it can be the chair, it can be a service, it could be a hospital uh, system of communications. They build the product as a prototype. And the brilliant component of this right now is that prototypes can be built and tested before a great deal of investment is made. So one of the important things within prototype is learning skills and tools. And this is what we teach at Westchester Community College, uh, specifically in the iTech uh, program, where students can explore and prepare for emerging careers. So one of the important uh, publishers of digital media is Adobe. And it's advantageous to be learning Adobe because they have a professional subscription and they have just about every program you need to get started. And that's what's important. And that's why we teach uh, Adobe with iTech. And for everybody uh, learning uh, digital media classes, such as advertising, marketing, web design, computer science, whatever it may be, we all need to be uh, learning visual tools as well as we learning uh, programming and business um, entrepreneurship. So Adobe Creative Suite, such as Illustrator, Photoshop, and so forth, these are critical um, programs. And as Adobe likes to say, it, learning is underutilized engine of a cultural change. And this is very true. Beyond the important work of adding skills to optimize the company of today, which are companies who are creating digital media 24 seven, learning can win hearts and minds by engaging employees with the concepts and the capabilities of the future facing business. Digital media is really trying to understand what is the format of digital media. So we like to think of ourselves um, in either in a bitmap, which is what this uh, looks like a QCR code, but it's actually representing pixels. And that's very powerful, powerful for QCR. It's very powerful for photography, digital media, video, games, on and on, because it can uh, demonstrate true uh, realism. And then we have uh, visual design, which we call vectors. And vectors helps us to build uh, many things in engineering, in UI uh, applications, and graphic digital design. And it's important to know that this particular tool is in every um, program there is, such as CAD or um, music, video, of course, all because it represents um, such an important tool, which is a digital tool, which is what we are creating, digital media for social media platforms. And in our prototypes, we are very fortunate at Westchester Community College and in the iTech program is that we are actually building prototype applications, whether it be for um, instructional technology, whether it be for games, whether it be for businesses, uh, advertisement, YouTube interactive uh, uh, media is actually happening today. And of course, we know about metaverse that's becoming rapidly uh, becoming a new field of new tools and all of the tools that you're learning today for digital media for a social media platform and advertising is um, going to be needed for the metaverse one of the things that students are utilizing right as we are speaking is our blackboard blackboard is an application that was built and probably use design thinking to be sure that the customer journey was going to be successful. And of course there's competitors. Everyone's trying to build that successful uh, customer journey, which is how Zoom became so successful. That customer journey has really played itself out to be a success. So the uh, phase five, which is what we do um, in design thinking is once we build that prototype, we need to test it. 
just because it looks good, just because everyone thinks it's great, we really have to get it under the uh, end user's hands uh, to be sure that it is correct. And this doesn't mean just games and applications. It means services. It means departments. It means institutions. How is everything flowing as far as communications? Is our end goal being met? Uh, are we optimizing everyone's experience, whether you're a user or a persona profile or an employee within the system? So it's very important to know that testing is a critical component. And yes, it often goes back to the very beginning to design and define and so forth. But that's important to do it at this point because you really haven't invested in the, the necessity of computer programming and all the backend development that is needed as well. So as we uh, move on, the other important part that we have not discussed about is how critical writing is. Not only are we a visual media, digital media culture, we are also very much engaged in writing copy. So um, kudos to all the students who love to write and are journalistic, investigative, or even in marketing campaigns where they are writing and creating that copy, who's got milk and so forth. There's lots of things that are exciting within many mediums in sociology and psychology and writing happens to be one of them. So in the test of the uh, qualitative usability testing to assess the prototypes, it is essential to build a positive user experience as we just spoke about because it boosts customer satisfaction and repeats business and it repeats a successful, engaging and positive experience for our clients or for our customer. So we've kind of just made a loop of what we're talking about when we go back. And one of the things they have just added on to design thinking, which is what we call a case study. A case study is sort of a, a summary of what all has happened and what were the pros and cons of that experience. What can we change differently? Circulatory um, case studies are very important. Circulatory economics are very important. When we build products, can we bring back that product when it's at its end cycle back into the, uh, the new design uh, that we wanna be able to bring into our um, society. And so everything about a case study is really evaluating how successful, how engaging have we been. That is to understand, that is to build, iterate on feedback, explore, prototype, and then we release it and distribute it. So one of the things that sometimes people are very confused about is what is the foundational skills one needs? So in the very part of design thinking, what is critically important is user experience, understanding your user's experience. And how do we do that? Which is in the first phase of design thinking, which is to empathize empathize and define. And how do we do that is we do a walkthrough, such as a wireframe, such as storytelling, such as uh, user data, such as creating scenarios, what ifs, and so forth. We really put the boots so that we can do the walk to fully understand our customer. And then we cross over to our visual designers who really make it as well of a pleasing experience. And as we all know from Steve Jobs, he made the computer become beautiful. And because of that, everybody desired it. That's an important thing about digital design. And that's why it's important to understand how it is that everyone can learn these skills to be able to improve upon the visual design of any experience that one has. And that, that covers signage. Right? How many times you've walked into a building and you just wish there was a sign to tell you where to go? So again, design thinking, empathize, define, ideate, prototype, test, implement. This is a circulatory uh, experience, but it is in our classrooms. And that's where I like to bring it into each of our assignments so that I'm sure that the students are on board. And that's a tough situation because everyone has different personas Everyone has different experiences, whether they're sitting in a Zoom class or whether they're in person. We want to be sure that what we're getting across to them is a successful uh, experience, as we say, a learning experience. So one of the things that everyone says is, well, what job title do we have? Well, 
The important thing about job titles is that it's more important to identify the ballpark of your job title. And here we have them, social media manager, web content manager. These are all things advertising students or iTech students would be interested in. And it's important to understand that the big steps that you need to make once you're taking these classes at Westchester Community College is that you're going to be uh, wanting to secure an internship. And that is where at Westchester, we really try to help you uh, put that resume together, put that e-portfolio together, have that opportunity to practice internships uh, and so forth. Uh, speaking is a very important aspect, which is why a lot of times it's great to present your assignment, to talk about it, to engage the listeners. And so we teach the soft skills as well at the college, and it's a very important one. And here is a certain uh, classified ad, a recent one, with IBM Corporation. And as you can see, design thinking, balanced stakeholder needs, meaning the understanding of customer journey while ensuring that the decisions are made in the user's interests. Everything is about user. Lead or participate client-facing presentations. Those are the things that you will be able to do within uh, your curriculum at Westchester Community College. Here's the Adobe. Here's that user testing. So it's important to understand that these are all the things that are learning in all the classes. Here's a recent one, a creative marketing specialist, where uh, you're doing your branding style, uh, which is a lot to do with digital design, creating the logo, creating the digital media that has the continuity and consistency, demonstrate awareness, of the use and current appropriate design trends in visual styling, developing mind uh, video content. There you have your YouTube, digital media, ensure consistency of brand usage, comprehensive knowledge of Adobe Creative Suite, able to work with a team across multiple projects and multiple timelines. So one of the things uh, that I always emphasize is the, the greatest challenge our students have is time management. They are juggling so much within their uh, learning experience. And I have to tell you, anyone who comes from a community college associate degree, they are gonna be a winner for you in your business because they work really hard. They juggle families, they juggle jobs. And this is why um, WCC has a career and service uh, division to help you. Um, Professor Williams is an excellent uh, opportunity uh, to reach out to. So we often have and invite businesses to meet and greet our students where we get to know each other. So it truly is a family at WCC. So there's so much that I, 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 it's endless and this presentation could go on a lot longer than we would like it to go on. So I'm going to wrap it up. But here's an example of how uh, these are some uh, topics for students to look into, to engage, the advertising class, many different topics to explore. I personally like to have the nonprofit organizations within the curriculum at iTech, taking uh, nonprofits and helping them be more successful, more engaging, so that they can raise those funds to be able to help transform uh, a sustainable environment. So these are lots of topics to be able to be engaged in. And then again, we have lots of other opportunities, trends that are coming about right now. I've highlighted some of them as you see them fading on, but all of them are things to be looking at, sort of your checklist. There's that cyclicality of retro, generational, economical, seasonal, repetitive cycles, keeping things simple, fast paced, cluttered world. Simplicity stands out, which is so true and entrepreneurship, which is an exciting component for the advertising students and for the iTech student graduates as well. And the important thing is we all are experiencing all of this together. And the abundance of stuff experience becomes more and more important for currency and for life priority. So how do we build, uh, continue to build, and how do we transform and stay on top of the current trends? So right now, um, omni-channel marketing is fast becoming uh, programs that are helping you as a business to utilize, how do you get all of this content that we're talking about and creating? How do we distribute it? 
Well, omni-channels is the direction that you're going to be going in, where you go into one platform and that platform goes into all the platforms. So it's a one-stop shop, as they say. Uh, so it's very effective. Uh, it's on the cutting edge. It's very competitive. And who wins? I do not know. But everyone is getting into it because everyone needs to have that ability to throw the net as wide as they possibly can. And so I'm going to wrap up this presentation. And again, I want to thank Professor Vern for letting me uh, be speaking to her advertising class, Marketing 203. And the world is moving on to metaverse. I'm just happy um, entrepreneur people are pushing the envelope, pushing to see what we can do for science, creating a virtual environment where we can actually step into diseases and have a greater observation. That to me is exciting. And for creative people, creating interactive design, interactive digital media, new experiences that we're all having, um, I think that's exciting for the 21st century. So all of it is positive if we stay on that learning curve. And that's why I love teaching because I'm always learning. I learn from my students, my students learn from me. It's very much an exciting collaborative environment to be at a community college who stays on top of current trends. So thank you again. Thank you.